shows where I'm like, you know, that voice could have been higher or better or whatever. Absolutely. Honestly, it's one of the reasons why I'm not the best listener of my own work because I just go, oh, I just sound ridiculous. It's ridiculous that anybody believes me as that is just, I can't believe it. No, uh, so yes. And plus, you know, sometimes, like with something like Princess Tutu or sometimes with shows, you have big breaks in between. Like for whatever reason, you have a big, a lot of time passes before you pick it up again and you're like, what were we doing? I don't remember, what were we doing? What was happening? And you just hope, you are so dependent on the director to help you figure out where you were, you know? You just pray nobody notices. Oh my gosh. And it happens, it happens. We did, we had like a three to six month gap in Princess Tutu and it just killed me. I was sad, well that was back when, remember? Do you remember that time when suddenly Best Buy Everything happened, Music Land went under, Best Buy stopped buying princess titles, and um, anything with princess in the title was not going to be bought, and Princess Tutu was put on hold for finishing. We came back and finished it, but it got an internet-only release, which really upset me at the time. I remember that, I remember that. Not bitter, not bitter. <laughs> you! Uh, Has what? Who? Oh, yes. They're, they're working. In case, I'm going to screw up too because ADV is always ADV to me. In my head, in my phone, on my calendar, because that's how I know it. But it is not ADV, it is Sentai, or it is, there are a couple of other names that they. Yes, yeah, Section 23. After all of their restructuring, it's come out different ways, but they are producing a lot right now, frankly. They're doing, they're doing good. Yeah, there's stuff happening there, which again, I'm grateful for, because I live here. <laughs> and a 15 minute commute is different than five hours. <laughs> it's a little bit different. I know, I'm committed, right? And can I just tell y'all, it's just a little story. It's true though. Not so long ago. Uh, that's so funny. That's how one of my daughter's books starts that we read. I've read it a million times. Not so long ago, before she could even speak words, Trixie went on an errand with her daddy. Okay. Anyway. Okay. Not so long ago, I went up to Dallas. I had a maybe a two-day booking up there, and it was Monday morning. I was supposed to be in the studio from 10 to, I don't know, 6 or 7. So I had to leave here at 5. And it was raining, and it was gross, and 45 is stupid, and all that stuff. But I sure did, I sure did pull into Funimation. And I will have you know that like four local actors called in and said they could not come. And I was like, y'all are a bunch of wussies is what you are. You don't want to work bad enough. <laughs> I got in the car all the way from Houston <laughs> and showed up to work. Yes, stripey shirt. Oh my gosh, that is the one I really can't do a line from. And it's terrible because it's like the most famous one. Um, but I will tell you why. I don't want it to sound like a cop out. She's asking for Wrath, a line from, as Wrath from Full Metal Alchemist. This is why. Wrath starts out as a feral little boy who doesn't speak, becomes a little boy for a brief period of time, eats a flesh pellet, becomes a homunculus, becomes manic, has limbs ripped from him. At what point do I pull a line? I just don't know. Even in my memory of voicing him, there was never, I don't know if this makes any sense, there was never a time when I was like, this is my wrath voice. It was, I would go in, and again, because I live here, I would go in for three days at a time and do huge chunks. And Mike would go, so this is where he learns to talk a little bit, but you know, after we come back from lunch, he's gonna eat a flesh pellet and do a thing, and he's gonna become this thing, and by the time you leave tomorrow, his arms and legs are gonna be, you know, pulled off. 
So my recollection of his voice is a journey, not a voice. You know, my, my experience of him is this thing. It's just not like a one-liner. So I hate it because everybody, of course you want to hear that. It's like the biggest show I've ever been a part of, you know. But, um, but I have a really hard time pulling one thing from that or just a little, like, snippet. It's just kind of hard. But did he not steal the movie? <laughs> Rath stole that movie. I'm here to tell you. He was in there for, like, this long, five minutes or whatever, but he stole it. Okay, ten minutes left. So we've got a lot to do in ten minutes. All right, party people. Yes. Do I plan on showing my daughter's anime? Sure. Judiciously. <laughs> As they are able to understand what is what. But yeah, my daughter, my uh, daughter Maggie, she likes Hello Kitty. You know, I mean, there's stuff. She'll, we'll work our way into it. Huh?